hello and welcome everybody to my channel today we'll talk about vellum grain how to set it up how to uh, simulate it that being affected by a deforming object and uh, what's the essential parameter that we need to t to have attention for to have our simulation look nice and neat so hop in and uh, enjoy the step-by-step -step demonstration and don't forget to sign and subscribe and share and uh, participate in my membership and Patreon also. That will be a big support. Thank you very much. So let's go. So this is part of our setup. What we are interested in is this node. While we have this simulated geometry being moved uh, with film solver and this is uh, was explained in separated tutorial you can uh, check the box and it will be in the comment and uh, the channel so anyway we start by creating a sphere and it's being squashed then I'm clipping its lower half and I'm adding a bully fill so it is a solid geometry after that, I'm transferring it into proper position and using match size, I'm making sure it's on the ground also. And now I added a vellum constraint grain. So you can write vellum grain and you'll have vellum configure grain. You connect it the input of the geometry and initially nothing will happen because this is not a volume so you need to make sure it to create points from volume so when this one is ticked you will have it like this and it's very regular so you better to have a jitter scale and this is a very heavy if it's very uh, large size the particle size the bigger the less particle we will have so see, less balls here so let's just put it point 0.2 and then we add jitter so it's not regular in shape there is no defined pattern from type you can choose also fluid so you can say fluid but we want green and you can play with the physical attribute like friction, dynamic friction, attribute weight and repulsion weight and this will be multiplied by the solver. Next we will add a vellum solver and we connect it. It's a view. So each one has its own constraint. You can add glue constraint for this so they can be adhesive together or, or, or attached to a geometry. So if we run it now, it will just simply slide on the ground as you can see here. Let me add a, a, a torus and this torus let's make it big and move it somewhere here lowering it or let's add a transformation Make sure it's in the center. And we go down and it's animated through one second to go up and also let's play with the rotation. Okay, so we have animated 
object we could make it to the collision part we go to the solver and let's see the default setting cool now in the solver we have a ground and self collision let's remove the self collision and see the particle they will not interact with, with each other in the forces velocity damping if we increase it they will stop very quickly because they will lose the energy so something like this so they will not slide a lot and if we go to the advance sleeping this will make sure if the velocity threshold is being passed the particle they will be in touch sleeping mood so they will not be included in the simulation unless they are being touched or affected by a force which will speed up things up good let's go to the grain collision and repulsion let's make it zero so as you can see they are not being uh, pushed against each other and st uh, staying away let's make it 100 frame so they are clumping more if we increase the attraction like with sand Set. Why it is disappearing? Let's lower it a little bit. And the more particle you have, the more sub steps I mean you have, the better the simulation will look. So let's put them with a repulsion of 0.5 and traction of 0.6. Let me view both the outcome and the sphere. Cool. Let's velocity threshold motion scale. CH scale. How much uh, far? the particle will look to search for other particle to collide with so if we make it very tiny see they will start to intersect with each other if we make it large try to stay away from each other Repulsion that's high, let's say 10, they will explode. They cannot tolerate staying beside each other. So if I go here and in the repulsion I make it 10, see, because this is a multiplier. It's a dynamic friction. They are staying beside each other. Let's increase the friction here. See? Good. 
they stick to the surface and if I go here to the solver to the collision passes forces static reflection make it high let's make it the default dynamic scale let's see now it will need more substep here layer shock polish let's make it one and uh, what else if we make it three the substeps we'll have more accurate result more different than the other one so let me go here and make this one the default repulsion weight let's make it point seven and attraction weight point four and see Let me play with the animation. So, sorry, here it will not go very far. Something like this. And the rotation take more time. Okay, let's view it now. And we write here dollar f multiply by three and see. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's copy this one and add it here also. Rushing through like a wet sand. So if I decrease the attraction, it will fall apart very quick and make the repulsion the default. They are hitting the ground also. If I increase to point one, we have more particles to play with. So this is the outcome with some lighting and shading. So thank you very much. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial.